You reported a little earlier a UN school was hit a bit earlier on Tuesday. It was being used to house Gazan refugees a little earlier. Our correspondent Alan Fisher spoke to Captain Doran Spielman of the Israeli army, asked him about that incident. The, the killing or the targeting of civilians is never justifiable. And of course, we're not targeting civilians. We also know there was a loss of Israeli troops last night, and that loss was caused also because the, the difficulty in operating in an area where Hamas are shooting rockets from civilian populations. The basis and root of the problem behind this war is that the attack on the Israeli civilian population is coming from militants who have embedded themselves in the civilian population. We're trying to respond, but we have to understand, this is a war, this is a battle. In a battle, nothing is 100 percent. There are civilian casualties, and the key to stopping those civilian casualties is stopping the blood wrenching that Hamas is, is inflicting both on Palestinians and Israelis. Captain, it's a school that's being used as a UN shelter. Yes. This is a UN building. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a breach of international law? Haven't you just committed an act of inter a breach of international law? This is, in fact, we did not target this UN building, which is why it's upholding international law. A no country can post a record like Israel in terms of keeping civilian casualties out of the picture in an urban warfare where the enemies embedded themselves into shooting rockets from these areas. We have to understand this is a con game. This is a con game being carried out by Hamas. They're shooting at us from civilian centers, and when we respond in the air of civilian centers, they say, oh, breach of international law. The breach occurred. 11 days ago, when the rockets intensified over the Israeli population, when we decided to come into Gaza to prevent years and years of squandering the rights of the Israeli civilian population. The end to this is in the hands of Hamas. Captain, there will be people watching this saying, how often will the Israelis use the, we weren't targeting them, to justify the death of now hundreds of civilians? The United Nations says of the more than 500 that have been killed, 20% are women and children. That's more than 100 innocent victims here. I'm a father. The death of a civilian, I look, at the, I look at the men and women, I look at the children, I think of my own family. Israelis, we're a small country, we value our own life, and we value the life of the Palestinian population, which is why we never wanted this to come out in the first place, which is why we pulled out of Gaza three years ago. When we pulled out of Gaza, wrenching our own people out of this place, it was so that they could start a better life. Instead of investing this money in universities and in hospitals, they put it into bombs, which are now falling on Israel. And unfortunately, the response to that is in hitting the Hamas leadership and their militancy, which are based around civilians. To stop civilian casualties on both sides, the decision is in the hands of Hamas, period.